So today, we're playing the Ranger, and today we're playing a flame up type builds. However, we never got offered the flame badge, and we still managed to craft it up using a different badge. And holy moly, does the flame up and the big ball treats do crazy things just like this. Because we're just going to try to survive here with a ton of armor, stacking up a bunch of life here. Which should be insane, stacking up a bunch of buffs, reducing our opponent's healing here. And it should come out to be kind of crazy here. And so far, actually smashing here. But hey, check this run out, and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go jump some ranked games here and see just what I can do today. Okay, we did get ourselves a stone badger, which is going to be awesome. We are playing the ranger. We do have a star courage. What sort of build should we do today? Well, to be honest, round one, I'm going to be taking stone badge. That is for sure. I'm going to be taking this big old broom. I do want to take this leather armor. I'm going to sell this Pakistan that we did start with. And this little blue gemstone in favor of actually taking it. Because that is going to be crazy, crazy amount of damage mitigation with the stone badge. And leather armor here. And we're going to be rolling on. So we may actually want to go for poison ivy type build since we have the stone badge. Because this is going to give us a lot of stones here. I've been craft up a bunch of stone skin potions. That's something I'm going to try and achieve today. We're going to roll on like this for right now. Can we stack up enough blinds here? This binary basket is going to be a ton of healing. And especially with four regen. They are going to have a lot of healing here. But we have a lot of damage mitigation with our setup right now, which is going to be awesome. So I do want to take any stones that we do can find here. I'm going to roll looking for some extra storage. And we could also get a water stusk here. I'm going to take the one buckler for right now since it got buffed as well. I do want to take that here. I do want to increase the speed of our broom. With that, I'm going to roll once more. I'm also going to craft up a shovel here so we can actually start stacking up a bunch of stones too. But we're going to have to reserve that. But with that, we should have a crazy amount of damage mitigation with the wooden buckler, the stone badge, and the leather armor here all together. Which is going to be absurd. Now, if we did get the armor steel here, we could potentially go for a crazy empowered stack and build with all this armor here. And so far, we're just going into fatigue, like not blind, so by the time our opponent actually breaks through the armor here, they actually can't hit us here. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. Which is crazy insane. And we could also gamble here. And try to get the Amulet Steel here. Let's go and try it. What's complete? The Amulet Feasting, which is exactly not going to be that good for us here. So with the Amulet Feasting here, it does make me want to change our setup here. Which does mean I'm actually going to be selling this shield here. I do want to take Water Sisk, but I also do want to take the pair of gloves. Because I do want to go for big ball of treats set up here. Now with no food items, that's not going to be that great here. So we're going to go with Claws of Attack. We're going to take big ball of treats here. We're going to keep with our stone badge here. And we may actually want to go for big ball of treats. Maybe even a card goobert here. Actually, we can go with card goobert since we have the stone badge. But we still can go for something kind of crazy here. But with our gloves right now, it does increase the speed of our broom. It also increases the speed of our stone badge. Which is going to give us even more damage mitigation. Now, poison is going to be a huge problem here. The one class that we actually cannot outpace here is going to be the reaper with that poison stack here. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. But with the Walrus Tusk, we should be able to craft up Claws of Attack, which is going to provide a good bit first here. Now, I do want to roll once again. I'm going to sell a stone in favor of actually taking the box riches. Now, I know that we did want to keep our stones for a strong stone skin potion, but I'd much prefer getting some gemstones right now. And potentially even go for a King Goober tier, especially with the Amulet Feasting. However, <laughs> with no food items, the Amulet Feasting is literally just six gold wasted here. Now, if we did get the Amity Steel, though, we could have been scaling up in power here. So we may actually want to roll on our chances to find that Amity Steel here. However, our opponent is going turbo nuts with the Shell Totems here and the Turnip. And unfortunately, our DPS here is super lackluster until we get our Claws of Deck. And that is good old Goobert, which we are going to take here. But first of all, we're going to be taking this good old Fanny back. We're going to be increasing the speed of our broom as much as possible. We're going to be taking good old Goobert. We're going to be slotting in here for now. And now we should be much better. And with that, we are going to be rolling on like this. Our stone badge. Being a trigger for a Goobert as well as a broom and a claws flag. So we should be able to scale up. Go bit of power. It is slow scaling power, but it still should be scaling power here. Which is going to increase the damage of both our weapons here. As we have a ton of block. As we have a ton of healing. And we should be able to pass our opponent here. Smash. We actually got a big crit. They finish off our opponent here. 
Now we could just take the unstable recombobulator here and just change the whole board. But I'm not going to. I'm actually going to roll quite a bit here to try and find specifically an unidentified amulet here. Now if we do want to take food items, we do actually have to add back in our amulet of feasting here. So we're going to take some blueberries here and we're going to check. It is a garlic here. Which I'm going to grab as well. More blueberries. Can we actually grab it? Let's grab it. And we could also just go for cheese goobert. Cheese is going to be insane. Now, I did say I wanted to roll here to try and find it. An amulet here, so I am going to continue to roll. We can go for a flame up here potentially. If we do get another flame from our stone badge, that does sound kind of awesome here too. But it does mean we're going to have to give up on trying to find an amulet here. It does sound like probably the right thing to actually give up on here, <laughs> because the chance of getting the actual amulet we want is going to be slim. So for now, we're going to be rolling on. We're going to be getting our turnip and our cheese next round potentially. And then we should have an extra trigger for our Gilbert, even though it is blueberries, and we're not going to be using up mana here. We're probably going to get rid of our broom next round as well. Well, see, our opponent does have magic staff. They do have mana generation. This is going to be quite scary. They also have the shell totem to keep themselves alive here. So we could be in lots of trouble here. But can we just barely outpace him here? Actually, smashing here. Not too bad here. Let's start off by selling a broom here. We're going to be taking good old turn up. We're going to have to fit this in. We can add in our leather armor for right now. It does mean we actually cannot take our cheese as of right now. Are we going to go for cheese goobert here to be stacking a crazy amount of life? Instead of good old king goberts? I'm thinking we are here. Now we're going to reserve this pineapple because we are going to want it here. We might actually sell our box of riches. We will hold on to it for right now. There's no point in selling it because we actually cannot get our pineapple. And we're going to roll in like this, so we should be able to scale up a crazy amount of max HP. With this whole thing too. And especially if we're going to go big ball of treats here with damage feasting as well. We should be able to go turbo nuts. Problem is, our salmon is not going to be super, super great. Especially with a turn up and a claws attack here. But is it is going to be enough here. Our opponent is also stacking up a crazy amount of spikes. They have a ton of vampirism, but just barely pulling ahead. Holy moly, that's kind of insane here. So with that, we are not going to hesitate. We are going to take big ball of treats because it is a food item. And we do have the amulet feasting here. Definitely a dream combo here. We also got ourselves a wrap, which I'm actually not going to take here. I'm going to take the pineapple. We could craft up this helmet, which would be fantastic too. But I'm going to leave it for right now. We definitely, definitely want a storage here. But for right now, I'm going to sell some blueberries here to take the storage. So we can have our food items in like this for right now. And we could take the island for some scaling damage here, which I am going to sell to take here. But unfortunately, we're going to have to roll on like this for right now. And we could actually take our closet deck and have this more like this. But I think that should be okay for right now. We're going to keep a closet deck just in case we do actually need it because the closet deck is going to be scale up in power. And it would be kind of awesome here with Cheese Gobert too. We'll see. Now with Big Ball of Treats here, our Cheese Gobert is going to have a 20% chance to activate twice, which is going to scale our max HP. And it gives a ton of buffs here. Like crazy. And so far, this is looking... Kind of awesome here for sure. We've got ourselves a rat on sale, which we are going to grab here. We could take the bird, but I'm not going to as of right now. It would have been kind of awesome. More blueberries, which could give us more pineapples. But I'm going to roll here. Definitely, definitely want more storage here. With that, I'm going to continue to roll here. We can go for blood start here instead. We're not going to. It's also Capitalist Comfort on sale for four. Well, to be honest, I'm going to sell our stone in favor of actually taking it. And we still do not have a lucky clover in, so... Unfortunately, we're going to roll on like this. Now, we could also be taking a bunch of rats here. But honestly, I'd much, much prefer just getting a bunch of hedgehogs here. Because we're going to be scaling up a crazy, crazy amount of spikes here. And our hedgehogs are going to be dealing that big, big damage here. But so far, looking smashing here. Absolutely fantastic. Let's take our potion belts. I'm going to take a mana orb here. Don't exactly want to. And we could take another island for even more scaling damage here. Which would be kind of awesome here. That is for sure, so I'm going to actually take it here. I'm going to sell our claws with which We're not going to want anymore. I'm going to roll again. Is there anything else we actually want here? Not exactly. I'm going to continue to roll here. I'm actually going to grab this Corrupted Crystal. I might actually grab another Capricorn here because just reducing our opponent's healing here is going to be awesome. Now, we could also went for Vampire Gamer, that is for sure, because that would be a lot of block first as we scale up our HP. And maybe that might have actually been the play here. But we'll see. We are going to begin... Nocturnal Locklifter, which is probably one of the strongest builds right now. One of the more popular, I mean. 
but unfortunately it's just gonna pay us here. It's just a crazy amount of life and honestly we're a little bit too late with this cap discomfort here. Now we're gonna take the summer sack and holy moly we can actually go flame up here. We are definitely going flame up here. Definitely an unconventional way to get flame up going but flame up with cheese goobert and big ball of treats here is gonna be absurd here. That is for sure. We also can finally add in our lucky clover. So we actually get a little bit more luck here. And yeah, for sure, we're definitely going to go flame up here. Okay. And we're going to make our whole build go turbo nuts. Now, our opponent does have a crazy absurd artifact stone cold, which is going to inflict a crazy amount of frost on us. Which is going to be problematic because the slower we move, the worse it is going to be first here. However, it's going to be close, but unfortunately, it's just falling a bit behind. But now we should be in a crazy, crazy good spot here. That's for sure. With the flame up, it's definitely going to be crazy here. And actually, I'm going to craft up this vampire armor. That's for sure. That's going to be pretty darn good. I'm going to sell a stone to actually take this capitalins. Because we are going to be a scaling build here. We definitely, definitely need in these caps. And we should have a lot of healing reduction right now with our helmets here. Our flawed amethyst. And now we should be able to turbo stack our buffs here. And our max HP with our cheese goobards. Which is going to be crazy here. That's for sure. Even taking on a hammer dagger build, especially with the hero longsword. Awesome here, even. Now, we did actually want to go for hedgehogs here, but honestly, we do not want to go for hedgehogs anymore. We could also go for second goobert here, which does sound crazy. Might just be crazy enough to work here. But first of all, let's take our pineapple for right now. We're going to add it in over here because we do not actually really, really need the big old blueberries as much. I'm going to take the banana to try and get another pineapple, which is amazing here. We're going to sell our pineapple, sell our banana. We actually might have needed that. If we're going to increase the speed of our flame up here, we might have actually probably needed that here. We're going to add in our blueberries. We're going to sell a stone and we're going to be taking this. And I'm going to be taking good old Goobert in the next round. I'm going to take our rat. I'm actually going to sell our rat right now. We could take another island for even more scaling damage. A lot of good items I do actually want here. We can also take the Hedgehog, but we are going to be using up a lot of our spikes here. But we're going to be adding in our Pineapple, and we're not going to be taking this cap anymore. It would be awesome to craft up another Cheese Goobert here. So I'm going to be trying to achieve that here today. I'm going to sell our cap, actually, and I'm going to take our Goobert here. I might actually preserve this island for even more scaling damage. On our Flame up here. Because we're just going to try to survive here with a ton of armor. Stacking up a bunch of life here. Which should be insane, stacking up a bunch of buffs. Reducing our opponent's healing here. And it should come out to be kind of crazy here. And so far, actually, smashing here. Definitely, definitely going to go crazy here. We're going to take this immediately, add this in for even more scaling damage. We're going to roll. And we could also take this unidentified amulet here to try and get an amulet steal here. Especially with this vampire armor. I'm going to grab it. We're going to try it out. And we actually got the amulet steal. Holy moly, that's literally going to be insane. Now, we do want to have our stone badge over beside it too. But until then, we're going to roll here. That's a squirrel, which we can take to be removing our opponent's buffs. But unfortunately, it's going to have to sit in here for now. So it is going to just be tagging our vampire camera, which is going to in turn scale our power because the faster this moves, the more armor we get, the more power we get, which does mean our flame up is going to be dealing turbo damage here. But speaking of turbo damage, our opponent was doing a lot of damage to it here. Quick little DPS check before we move on. 32 DPS. It's actually not that crazy insane. Let's check your healing. Just about 100, which is not great, to be honest, either. And 200 block, which is not too bad here. But I do believe we can actually make this a lot crazier, so we are going to continue on. And speaking of crazier, we're going to be taking good old shiny ball. I'm going to roll again. I'm going to continue rolling. We can take more vampiric. We could craft up vampiric goobert here instead. Vampir vampiric goobert instead of cheese goobert here. It does sound kind of awesome here, but first of all, we're going to be taking this ladder back right now. And the main reason why we took this prismatic orb here is just actually to be scaled for buffs here. Not actually get our mana, but also get a little bit of vampirism, especially if we're going to be taking more bloody amulets. But it's a lot of gold here to be getting some buffs, and honestly, it has been nerfed recently, and now it triggers every 8 seconds. But still, it's going to be good enough to keep in for right now. With that, we're going to be rolling on like this. We do have tagging one dark item and our vampire camera. But holy moly, this is a lot of fortunes hopes here, which they're going to be going for that Meg Clover win con. Which is going to be problematic here. And unfortunately, they just troubled the leaders here. They're going to be taking a bloody amulet. 
We do have six gold and going to roll here, and I will actually be taking even more storage for right now. We're gonna have to sort our inventory out, so I'll be back in a second. Why are we do that here? This is gonna be set up for right now. I'm actually genuinely thinking about taking out a nylon lamp here, which is not gonna be that great. But I'm gonna add in a wrap for right now as we craft up Vampire Gamer. And our setup is gonna be looking more like this right now. And with the eye lamp, we actually really genuinely cannot fit in as right now with the whole setup here. So I'm gonna leave it out for right now. We're gonna be rolling on, we're gonna be crafting up Vampire Goobards. So we should be able to get a lot of life still here. Now, Prismatic Orb is not gonna be in the best position ever. But it should be pretty decent. We should be able to scale up a crazy amount of buffs here. And we're turbo stacking power, which is gonna be fantastic because it is gonna increase the damage of the flame up here. So overall, should be extremely awesome here. Big, big damage. And a crazy amount of buffs here. It's only going to get better once we have a Vampire Goobert crafted up. I'm actually going to grab another Bloody Amulet here. Because that is going to be even more vampirism for our Bloody Goobert here. I'm going to sell our lamp here. We could settle up with another Pineapple here. For a big bowl of treats here. As well as for our Flame up here. We could also just recombobulate our whole board as of right now. Which should we actually grab it? We could also go for Shield of Valor here. Just to be getting a ton more armor here. I'm going to roll here. I'm going to take this fanny pack and I'm just going to increase the speed of our vampiric armor even more. I'm going to roll once again. That's a higher container which we can be skill up our regen here. Which actually I'm going to take here. And we could also we could also take the squirrel here because that would be removing our opponent's buffs. That might have been actually better than the hard container here. Rather than skill up our regen, we could be just stealing our opponent's buffs. Which would be kind of awesome here. I'm going to reserve the squirrel and I'm going to roll twice here, looking for a little bit of extra storage. The next one, we're going to be taking that squirrel, we're going to be taking a fanny pack, and we are going to be moving on. Now, this is looking quite scary because our opponent is going to have a crazy amount of armor stacking here. They're going to be dealing a good bit of damage here. As you can see, our life is dipping down pretty fast, but can we bring it back? Unfortunately, we just cannot. Even with this kind of crazy looking setup here. Well, first of all, let's take our squirrel for right now. We'll move it in here so we can actually increase the speed of it. Just a little bit here. Now we do want to roll here. Hedgehog, I do not actually want to take. And I will actually be taking even more funny backs here. Let's roll once again, and that's another shiny ball, which we could honestly take too. We're not going to. Let's roll once more, and that's all we can really do. And this is gonna be final setup here. Definitely a super unconventional way of actually getting a flame up here. And kinda of awesome here with the cheese goobers, and even with the bloody goobers here. But definitely, definitely could be a lot stronger. That is for sure. But with this whole setup, it's looking pretty awesome here. Is it going to be enough? Especially with the Amity Steel here to be stacking up on power as well. And we're going to be trying to remove our opponent's buffs. But that's going to be a ton of armor to actually break through here. They're going to be skilling up a ton of mana. And they're going to be dealing a good bit of damage to us here. But our HP is stacking. Our buffs are stacking. We're stealing their buffs. Big, big damage here. Holy moly. We're definitely scaling builds. And look at that damage here. Flame up, big ball of treats here. Definitely, definitely awesome here. And with that, we did manage to get our DPS up to about 54 DPS, which isn't too bad. It's not crazy dam it's not crazy damage, but still decent enough here. We managed to get a good bit of healing with this whole setup here, especially with Blood Gubert providing a lot of healing here. Give us give us a decent amount of healing here. So we upgraded our healing here by quite a bit. We're also blocked. We did get a total a good bit of block here. So overall, we were pretty defensive here, we're getting block and healing combined here. With that, we managed to get 21 in power here, 7 being from the Amda Steel, 5 from a Rig Ball Treats, 4 from a Cheese Gubbard, and 3 from a Prismatic Orb. And also, 2 from a Heart Container. The Heart Container increasing our healing efficiency, also being pretty darn good here. But anyways, we did survive with only one life left here. It was definitely, definitely touch and go, but still, not too bad here. Let's go ahead and see just how much rank points we got here. We got plus a 9. Not too bad here. Rank is up to 25. But anyways, gonna leave it for now. Just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. And I hope to keep a look out for the next one. See you next time.